The ambassador of Denmark in Sri Lanka, Peter Tax Jensen, says the present government has taken measures to ensure Sri Lanka's economic and democratic process. Addressing a ceremony in Kalawa today, he said that his country is willing to support the country's positive development. A two-day event titled Danish Days in Sri Lanka of seeking business opportunities in the island was inaugurated in Colombo today. Delegates of 15 leading firms in Denmark are participating at the event. The main interests of the delegation are water, energy, infrastructure. Danish ambassador in Sri Lanka Peter Jensen noted that Sri Lankan people and businesses could enjoy real economic benefits as a result of positive changes in the country. The government of Sri Lanka is working hard to ensure the democratic and economic development of this country so that businesses and citizens are able to enjoy the real economic potential of this great country. Denmark wishes to support this positive development and democratic reforms have a positive impact on the inflow and investments by large foreign investment investors who require democratic stability as well as political and economic I have the utmost admiration and respect for the progress that the Sri Lankan government has achieved already and uh, I think the Danish days that we are having now is a testament to that fact. Our two countries, Denmark and Sri Lanka, have a long history of cooperation and now I hope we can open a new chapter of bilateral cooperation. Denmark's government council that we have here today, Colombo, along with uh, my embassy in New Delhi, intend to try to expand so that the commercial ties between our Two countries get much, much stronger. We have started a robust development program in the country. So I think this month we are starting, and within about three years, we are hoping to finish the fourth city as well. Very ambitious plans. So on this foundation, we have started negotiating for trade agreements with India, China, Singapore, Thailand, Malaysia, and other countries also. This is the first phase. This gives us a huge advantage with development, with new technology. Maritime industries have developed, land transportation has developed, and air transportation also have developed. So unlike those days, now we have three modes of transportation, so this can be a very important hub in the Asian region could be the gateway to South Asia so that we will make a friendly environment for the investor so that FTIs and the exporters would be encouraged. So whilst doing this, free trade agreements with uh, especially with uh, China and India gives us a huge advantage and access to almost half of the world population. And along with uh, the fisheries ban lifted, we have another venture that Denmark could be interested. And then the GSP, we are working on the GSP plus and if we get the GSP plus by the end of this year or beginning of next year, then we have another huge advantage to Europe. So with all this, we can pick up and run very fast, not like big countries. It's a tipping point for this country. I got one of the business delegates from Denmark. Just tell us, what sort of business opportunities you are looking for with Sri Lankan uh, business delegates? We are in the LPD uh, filling business where we have uh, potential customers here in Sri Lanka already. Uh, we are already established with a factory in Sri Lanka, assembly factory. Uh, furthermore, uh, we are within the energy business with uh, power where we have uh, through our Sadelmi power in Italy, we are building uh, power plants from small to large power plants. And then we are also uh, have developed uh, bunkering systems for L LNG, especially for the maritime uh, sector. I got another business delegate from the dairy sector in Denmark. Please tell us what sort of areas are you interested in Sri Lanka? Apart from the dairy sector, I'm very much interested in helping Sri Lanka in the coconut milk industry. The dairy sector have all the equipment necessary for making value-added products to the coconut industry because you have to, traditionally from your desiccated coconut, you have to move up to value-added products which is for 